Did you get a chance to attend the funeral? No. Nah. Nah, I ain't tell me we in front of the woods. Like, that shit, I ain't, ask, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't, you know, I ain't want to see that shit. Like, even if the front of the woods, they, they tried to drive, come get me, I ain't want to go. Because, like, hell, yeah, no, nah, I don't want to see my, my pops like that. Like, I ain't know death was real at, at all. Like I said in my music, like, I never thought death was real. I never thought it. Like people, when people, I see it on the internet, people die and get shot. I don't be believing in it because I, I know God is real. I know he can bring them folks back. I know he can do his job. You see what I'm saying? Like that's him. He brought you on earth and he, you see what I'm saying? I, and, I, and I know now he can take you take you off. But I feel like why God will put you on earth and hurt you, like he won't hurt you. You see what I'm saying? The devil working at the same time too. So I feel like if a person die and they sleep or something, that's God, you see what I'm saying? But if they die, die by a bullet or anything, or that's the devil, because he can always work. He was, he was the first angel. So you got to know your history before you run your mouth. For real. Thinking back in your life, you not attending the funeral, do you regret that? Do you wish you would have? Or are you okay with that decision you made back then? Man, I'm straight on. I hate funerals. Like, I couldn't walk in there. I couldn't walk in there. I, I wouldn't be the same. I wouldn't even be rapping. I wouldn't, I just, nah, I'm straight. I just make him live through my music. I know I look just like his ass, so he hurt. Long as I'm doing my job as being a man now and I'm becoming, he hurt. So, she, God gave him a second chance, he with me. Was he aware of the music side of you at all while he was alive? Hell yeah, he, he knew. He, he, I wasn't hard as I was, like I wasn't, my voice went deep and raspy. It was just I was strictly flat. So he knew. He was like he was like he shared on Facebook and shit. Like this my this my son right here. He used to have white friends like Mexican homeboys like like that. He loved a different type of vibe, and that's what made me do that. Yeah, I think now that I think about it, I think you said when you had spoke to him on the phone, he said you're gonna be a star or something of that nature. I think you said. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Was that in reference to the music side of you, or was did like he saw the dancing and this, that, and the third? So he put all that together and that. He put everything together, and he would, he would like he was like you and me. Like I love to dance, son, and I'm like I know. And he was like you he gonna blow. He was like you gonna blow. Just keep going, keep keep God first. And I'm like keep God first. And I'm like you see what I'm saying? Like I I, don't, I feel like I ain't know nothing about God at that moment. So when he told me that, I'm like, he God first. I'm like, I ain't want, I'm not a person to pretend. So I'm not finna lie to you. I never, I don't wanna lie to you. So I'm not finna say, okay, I'm gonna keep him first and I don't know him. So I had to get close to him to know exactly how life was and now I do. So yeah. Did your father ever do music himself? He can not. <laughs> he always loved to dance, cut Akon on and get to dancing. He loved Akon. So I want to meet him bad as hell. I want to meet Akon bad as hell. So if he is watching this interview, I want to meet you. You're a real OG to me. Like, for real.